I made a song Called it nicknames I've got good hair Call me Thick Mane And under that you'll find a freaky huge smart brain A touchdown slam dunk I love sports games Okay, real quick before we look at the song, I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, I am stra I'm straight up like a YouTuber now. Check this out. YouTube straight up gave me an award. And it's like, look at this. That's a real thing. Look at me with my vlog camera and well, I mean, we're we're doing this, guys. I did not think I would be doing this. You know, it is what it is, but guys, we're we're We've made a series here. We've made a freaking YouTube series. So without further ado, we're not gonna let that do go any further than it has. Let's look at nicknames. So this song actually has quite a few layers. There's quite a few things going on. So first, first let's look at the percussion elements. So drums and all like the tuned stuff going on. So Logic has this kit called Tribal Kit, which I think is here in like the world section, and I think it's just like in a in a go go or like a tuned bell without any plugins. And then obviously tuned it. And we have this little fill going on. Just a normal kick and snare. Another kick layered here, and a clap every once in a while. Oh, and effects-wise, there's this little intro of a small, excited party sound effect. This isn't any party, it's a party of excited people, I think speaking Spanish. But yeah, anyway, so for the drums, we've got, yeah, that kick we were talking about. Snare, kick, and an 808 little dun dun dun. Then the pre-choruses come in with this hat pattern. With a fill into the chorus, I add a shaker and another snare um, that hits a little bit harder. Where is it? Oh, here it is. And then another snare that's halfway through the choruses that'll come in. And it goes like. Uh, like Yeah, so those are the core elements. I mean, it varies every once in a while, um, but I think really what made the song was this concept. And I just kind of built around that with the thing. Um, then I came up with this lead. We'll go ahead and move to the keys parts. Um, yeah, it's kind of inspired by This Must Be The Place, Talking Heads, Melody. Um, there's a Vampire Weekend song that it sounds a lot like too, which I didn't mean to do, but you know, I guess like a subconscious inspiration sort of deal, but it's just this home organ farfisa sound, which is throughout Fuzzy Brain quite a bit. A bass keys bass throughout the whole verse. Then for the pre-choruses, these chords play. And then 
just back to the lead. Halfway through those chords coming. jump there um, yeah and then the breakdown got that little solo thing yeah it's kind of so that I think that was on like one take too I was just like I wanted to feel like it has this like groove party kind of sound because we've got the small excited party just going throughout at the end and they're just shouting Yeah, fine, then the harmony comes in. So the guitar parts are actually, well, we'll look at the bass. So all of the bass to be more percussive is actually layered with the guitar. So like, there's a guitar playing the exact same thing. to kind of make it feel fuller. So that's a trick for those of you who are trying to make your bass sound fuller and don't have like plugins. The Logic has a plugin called an exciter, so that type of thing will like liven up your bass sound, but the trick that I find is just play the same thing on guitar an octave higher. Um, that's all the bass parts. Just kind of changes throughout the song, but I mean, it's the concept. It's the heart of of the song. Um, yeah, and then the guitars. The guitars. We've got. The guitars on this song were really random recording. They were just kind of like sitting back in the mix and just me just kind of messing around using the first take I did. Like I wanted this song to feel really loose and like um, groovy so I wanted to use live takes and not time everything completely perfect although I still do flex time <laughs> everything. Um, I tried to flex time it, but a little bit with a swing. Um, at least on the guitar parts. Yeah, um, so now for the vocals, we've got pen left, right, middle, going through a little tape deal. A new confession. People have been asking my vocal chain, so I will just go ahead and show it now. Come so far, you deserve to see it. So I go through a noise gate. It also looks different every time, but at least for nicknames, this is what we've got going on. We've got a noise gate, this plugin from Waves called Vocal Rider, a DSer going hard, um, a pedal board, which is crazy. I was still. I'm adding saturation to my vocals via Double Dragon Deluxe Overdrive. Running it through a uh, CLA76 compressor that Waves does as well. And then EQ. So this is how I did my vocals. You're a rather intelligent adolescent. And that's who you are. Very nice. Some harmonies. I learned my lesson. Never meant to be that way. I just wanted to be kind. Yeah. Um, also, there's like lots of group vocals going on. Take was just me a bunch of times panned in different parts. You know, shouting a couple things like. And that's who you are. Whoa! So unexpected. Yeah, things like that. And then also in the chorus, there's like a call and response. And oh, I know, I 
I'm not everything you thought I was Who you say you are, this who you are You know I tried, you cried no. That straight up is the entire song. Um, this one was tons of fun to make. I remember it took me a really long time and a lot of different versions to get to this, but throughout the entire time I had this at least. I felt like that was kind of the staple of the feeling of the song, and so I kind of just built everything around that. Um, but yeah, that's... That's the entire song. I just wanted it to feel funny, you know? Um, and so, yeah. That is Nicknames. Everyone, we've got one more song next week. I'm doing Listerine. And then you have seen everything that I have done and how I did it to a controlled extent. Um, so, I hope it's been fun. I hope it hasn't like ruined the magic of any of these songs for you. Um, it definitely does it for me. It kind of maybe shows you a different perspective of how songs are made. But as always, send me questions. If you have serious uh, questions about um, production, and my one piece of advice would be uh, for young producers, us young people making music out there in our bedrooms, um, keep doing you. You know, keep having fun. Don't be afraid to experiment and don't be so critical of yourself um, because we're, I mean, we're, we're having fun. We're in our bedrooms, you know, like um, music is about having fun. And so often I get messages that are like, so I'm like, how do I make it? Like, how, who do I message to like get more views and stuff? And like, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you now, like, it's so awesome having you guys like respect what I make and everything, but like having views doesn't make you feel any better. Like I still have days where I'm like, this is terrible, you know, and I'm super critical of myself. And so validation doesn't come from, or validation or like confirmation of um, artistic confidence doesn't come from viewership or the amount of people listening. In all honesty, it kind of makes it harder. I, I've become more critical of myself since I've gained an audience. But I think really, music is more fun when you're just having fun making it. Um, so just make songs, show them to your family and friends, and um, I don't know, just just be rock and roll, you know? Um, yeah, well, I'll see you guys next week. Hope you're staying safe. Um... Goodbye.